I am Brandon with uh, the founder of the Manistee Community Kitchen. I started that organization three years ago um, with the goal of ending hunger and obesity in Manistee County. And um, I believe there's really two barriers um, to getting people eating um, local produce. And in our neck of the woods, it's, it's not access, it's education. Um, one being education and two being community. Um, anecdotally, we, we uh, run a farmer's market in Manistee County. Um, <clears throat> every week, farmers at that farmer's market would have kale in their booths, a certain number of them, and on average would sell about three pounds of that kale. Uh, we do cooking demonstrations at our farmer's market. Um, the day that we did kale chips, every farmer there sold out of kale, and the average um, amount sold was about 20 pounds. People just didn't know what to do with kale um, when they got it home. Um, and we, we see the same thing in, uh, we, we run a school lunch program in Manistee County, and everything that we do, um, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, we stole completely from, from Daniel and Kirsten. They're just rock stars in the space. So um, we, we've stolen a, as much as we can in terms of resources and information from them. Um, but we do demonstrations um, in our classes. We'll have a chef come in and um, you know, one day talk about brown rice and why a whole grain is better for our system than, um, than the polished white rice is. And you know, that day at lunch, the kids will be running down um, and we'll just blow through all the brown rice that we had in the house and they're, you know, they want it and they're excited about it. It's because you know, they know why it's good for them. We got our start, um, you know, we're the Manistee Community Kitchen, we got our start more as a community than a kitchen. Um, in the basements of churches, um, community centers, you know, out in community gardens doing um, education and, and in food pantries. And one of the things we noticed was uh, there was a, a significant need for community. Um, in all of our classes. And what I mean by that is, you know, we can, you know, go and deliver a, a six-week training class um, where they get together one, you know, one hour a week for six weeks, but at the end of that, I'm going to go away, um, and our chef is going to go away. And, you know, we've got to have a community built amongst that class where they're supportive of each other um, in a healthier lifestyle. We were able to do that at, um, in a couple instances that, that were pretty powerful. And one I'm going to tell you about is with a, a program um, called the Wise Women Program. Um, through our local health department. Is anybody familiar with Wise Women? So they run an entrepreneurial gardening program and we got our start doing a cooking class with them. And you know, we, sh we showed up and um, you know, provided them opportunities to con connect with each other and, and, and sharing the experience. Um, they got really excited about it. Um, we offered them space in our community garden um, so they could start to garden and, and grow some of their own food. They got excited about that. We extended the opportunity for them to be uh, a participant in our farmer's market. So now we've got um, ladies who have been unemployed for upwards of 10 years, um, growing food in our community garden, selling it at the farmer's market, generating the first income stream that their family has seen in a number of years, um, all because they're excited about local food and, and they're supported um, by their peers and colleagues. So they'll get together now um, every harvest season and one person you know, on their farm is growing tomatoes and the other one um, you know, might be um, growing green beans or whatever it is, and they're swapping and they're canning together, and, and it's a community. Um, and it's something that we can step away from as a community kitchen and know that that's sustainable um, because they've got each other. They don't need us. And you know, even the, um, you know, Janina, who, who farms in our hoop house um, in one of our community gardens, we saw um, the only uh, food pantry, because we provide food pantries with food, the only food pantry we saw decrease um, <coughs> in need for fresh produce was one at Century Terrace. And it wasn't because of anything else but that Janina lived in Century Terrace um, and she was taking food from her farm and feeding her neighbors with it. Um, so you know, I, I think that you know, that is, that's powerful and, and, it's, um, and it's sustainable and that's something that um, we're excited to build. Um, so now you know, I've a glutton for punishment and, and decided to take on an additional role um, in partnership with, uh, with Goodwill and Food Rescue in Traverse City to see if we can scale these models um, for deployment in um, other surrounding communities. So I'll be around afterwards and would look forward to talking with any of you if you want to talk community or food. Thank you.